Sorry for the last-minute visit. How's Yoshizawa-san holding up? I've been concerned about a potential relapse, considering her difficulties with accepting this reality. You know, I would love for that to be the truth, but people can't maintain their strength forever. So, getting down to business. I wanted to confirm with you one last time, is there no other way to come to an agreement besides fighting? The reality I created may seem distorted from your point of view, but it's a reality where everyone is happy. If you just stay, you'll never have to suffer the pain of loss, or the pain from having people and things stolen away from you. So, you saw what happened with Rumi. I'm not the one who suffered. She is. But she's still living a wonderful life right now, in this world you call a distorted reality. But she still doesn't remember you, right? And you're fine with that? She may not be in my life anymore. But at least her own life is a happy one now. I'm not just doing this for Rumi. I want all of you to live just as happily as she is. But for Rumi's happiness to last, I have to move on. After all that's happened to her, to me, I just can't drag her into it. Doc. My stance will not change. Strange circumstances have led to my gaining this power. However, I now recognize it as being wholly inevitable. This is something only I am capable of doing. I promise. Every person alive will be happy in the world I create. So, let me ask you the same. After really considering every option, do you have any doubts about your views? I suppose it's more accurate to ask, do you two gentlemen have any doubts? You're here, aren't you, Akechi-kun? Akechi! You caught me. Oh, it was just a hunch. This issue doesn't only affect you, Akechi-kun. This involves you, too. <sighs> what do these two have to do with... The relationship you two share is very unusual. A detective and a phantom thief. Despite being enemies, your relationship isn't based on hatred or ill will. That's why I found it so tragic when I learned what happened in Shido's palace. You bastard! So, my final enemy is a puppet version of myself. I... Say, didn't you regret how things ended with him? You two came to a deep understanding of one another. Yet you had no choice but to leave Akechikun to his fate. That's why I created a reality where you two could have a fresh start together. <laughs> After all After this, all that's, that's what you have, you have to say. Seriously, you really are. That would mean the Akechi in the real world is... Get what I'm saying? I genuinely didn't want to tell you like this. I didn't want to make it seem like I'm holding him hostage. But no matter what you may think of me, I just want you all to accept this reality and move on with your happy lives. And that matters how, exactly? Don't tell me you think dangling my life before us is going to have any impact on our decision. Well, I lacked conclusive evidence. But after I fought against you all, I had a gap in my memory that ended with meeting up with him again. There were also the cases of Wakaba Ishiki and President Okumura. 
Of course, I'd find all of that suspicious. I see. I had a feeling the truth of the matter still wouldn't dissuade you, Akechi-kun. But how about you? You think dangling my life before us is going to affect our decision? That's what Akechi-kun said a moment ago. If that's how you see it at this point, I'm fine with it. But I'm still going to ask you, one last time, will you accept the reality I create for you? You were the guiding light to my research. You showed me the way so I could make my dream into reality. I have nothing but gratitude for you. Not a single ounce of ill will. That's why I wanted you of all people to understand. Perhaps I shouldn't ask you for an answer on the spot like that. I'll be going now. Ah, that's right. I've heard your calling. And about my question, let's do this. I'll be waiting in the palace tomorrow, just as I promised. If you still haven't changed your mind by then, we'll meet there. But if you don't show, I'll take that to mean you've accepted my reality. See you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'd like to speak with him. Akechi. Gotcha. I'll leave the decision up to you. Let me know when you've reached an answer. I will carve my own path for myself. I refuse to accept a reality concocted by someone else, stuck under their control for the rest of my days. So what? That's the path I chose. All you have to do is stick to your guns and challenge Maruki. Or are you really so spineless that you'd fold over some bullshit trivial threat on my life? Oh, but it is simple. Do you think I'd be happy with this? Being shown mercy now, of all times. I don't want to be pitied. This isn't something I'm debating with you. Your indecisiveness on the matter is essentially a betrayal of my wishes. I want to hear you say it aloud. What do you intend to do? I won't wait a moment longer. All right. I'm relieved to hear it. I will never accept this form of reality. I'm done being manipulated. Let's go back to our true reality. alive also chaos as far as the eye can see all right what's a life worth in a reality that was cooked up just to satisfy someone else I say none we have to win this no matter what All right, we're all here. It's time 
Our final battle. Maruki came by Leblanc last night, so we gave him the calling card. I doubt Maruki is still interested in discussion. You realize there's no backing out now, right? <laughs> Ain't no way we're gonna run now. We're gonna confront Doc in his palace, show him what's up, and go back to our own reality, right? Right. It appears we're all ready. It's time to take back what belongs to us. Our own reality. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Let us room. train your personas. Releasing it seems to have gained a fair amount of power. The Compendium, yeah? What will you be registering? Would you like to register this to the Compendium? May luck be on your side. Indeed.
Thank you for coming. It looks like I have your answer. Indeed. No more hesitation. Let's begin. If you win, my heart will be changed. However, if I win, my reality becomes the true reality. I will overwrite all of existence with my own cognition. I'm not holding back anymore. W what the? Just as you have your own beliefs, I too have no intention of changing my plans for reality. No matter what happens to me in the end, I will fix this torturous world. That is my own rebellion. Is apparel just... And I believe you called forth your power like this. Persona. No way! So Maruki really does have a persona. I'd regret not pointing this out to you. You shouldn't mistake our powers as being equal. It's time, Azatha. Our final battle has come. My persona guides me. Dr. Maruki. I have to do this. Incoming, guys. Persona! This persona's definitely trouble. Persona! Persona! Here! Let's move on. Huh? He's getting stronger? Be careful! Super move! Ultra Charge! Uh, what was that just now? 
Persona. Hold on. My other self. Prepare yourself. No effect. Persona. Queen Pomona stepping in.
Rose. That was awesome, Mona! I ain't afraid of what? <laughs> Don't worry. I don't care what I- Persona! Ravage them! Nice one, Joker! You hit its weakness! That's not it. <laughs> I won't fail. I can't fail. I can't deny that it's time. Crow, be careful. I'm picking. Persona! There! Yours. All right. 
It's Maruki's treasure. What is it, though? A torch? A torch is a light to guide people. It may symbolize his perception of himself as the guide for the entire world. We're here to change his heart, aren't we? Go on. Take it. So... This is it. Place is collapsing. We'd better take our leave. Rumi, I'm sorry. I couldn't. No, I. I can still. Joker, look out! Damn it! We gotta book it. Guys, jump in! That was close. Dr. Maruki... This has gone too far past changing someone's heart. Is he even still alive? Looks like that isn't a concern. Sorry, but I won't admit defeat just yet. I'm sorry. You know I can't do that. I've been chosen by the world itself. Granting this wish is my responsibility. The hell? Uh, he just... the treasure! his persona such strength of will if it is for everyone's happiness I don't care what happens to me don't resist accept it with my power no with mine and Adam Cadmon's together our reality is mine persona guides me
refuse to let it end like this. Adam Cadmon, guide us all to our ideal reality. You're wrong. Yeah, we refuse to let it end any other way, too. Persona! Persona! Let's go. Maria! All right. right before my eyes. I'm sorry. I said I didn't care what happened to me. But I guess... I wasn't committed to my words. You too, huh? cross and pie what are you... Can you tell? You think the same thing, don't you? Of course you do. After all... Uh, no, you can't! We hesitate right now. We die! Uh, uh, up there! I 
am all yours. Use me however you want. Now, show us the reality. The reality we wish for. <laughs> I am thou, and... to run we're going to beat you and go back to our own reality that's the spirit now let's finish this persona not that Maria. all right <sighs> i'm beat
gave up everything else. I dedicated all that I have to this, but I still... Why? I'm running from... <laughs> you nailed it. It's true that I turned my back on the original reality. But where's the harm in that? When it grows to be too much, too painful! Every person deserves to escape that! <sighs> In all honesty, it's best for a person's growth when they tackle their own hardships. But reality doesn't always make that so feasible! No matter how much you try, or work for so long, the smallest injustice can wipe it all out, leave you with nothing! Don't you of all people understand that? You know, there probably are plenty of people who'd ultimately benefit from your reality. But what about the people who want to take on the world themselves? How's it right to rob them of their opportunities? I don't think what you're saying is wrong either, Dr. Maruki. Some people want to run from their pain and cling to some other version of reality, like I used to. But the knowledge I gained through that pain and my desire to move on, those are even more precious to me. And I won't let anyone take them from me again. <gasps> Yoshizawa-san. So you truly don't want it, huh? Looks like I'm totally finished. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
The palace is collapsing! Uh, uh, Dr. Maruki, hurry! It's not safe there! Uh, uh, Dr. Maruki! No! It's too late for him! We are trapped as well! Huh? Is there any way? Everyone, get over here! Hurry! <clears throat> Never. I have to fly! <laughs> Phantom thieves. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your little moment of triumph, but couldn't you have made yourself just a bit larger? <laughs> hey, where'd Joker go? Don't worry. Sorry to cut your flight short like that. This place is done for, along with the entire reality I dreamed of. I... have lost. Even if I were to try that fight over, I'm sure I'd only lose again. So I know, this is going to sound pretty stupid. I've been holding this all in for so long just hiding it for myself. So, please, help me kill every last one of my regrets. You're the only one I can ask to help me with this. The disappearance of my palace of the entire metaverse is drawing near. Seems like neither of us can summon our personas anymore. Let's begin. I gave up everything! Everything! So why? Why? Why, Rumi? A reality where no one suffers. Ugh. <sighs> 
I'm done. I get it now. All thanks to you. Huh. I'm done. Please, let go of my hand. Your eyes are as bright and honest as ever. You keep your head up no matter what. I must have always been afraid. Afraid you and I wouldn't wish for the same reality. <laughs> Magnificent! We have indeed witnessed your decision. Not only have you taken back mankind's future for itself, but you've also re-established our reason for existence. While reality had been wholly distorted, your actions have guided it back towards what it ought to be. That is correct. Time itself cannot be rewound, but every past event will revert to the event that should have occurred instead. I'll ask you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police, of your own accord. I will carve my own path for myself. I refuse to accept the reality concocted by someone else, stuck under their control for the rest of my days. Everything will return to how it should be. Everything. There are no exceptions. Have your regrets begun? It seems you are still resolute in this matter. Choosing such a path must not have been easy for you. For that, you have our utmost respect and gratitude.
Where could Mona, Akechi-kun, and he be? We've literally looked everywhere. This is our original reality, right? I believe so, yes. The MetaNav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to Leblon. Huh? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um... Have you seen him at all, lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? W what are you guys talking about? Well, I was gonna ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go for his situation? So, he's in juvenile detention. Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi-kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality, which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki, now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality, uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now, what happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. Did someone say my name? This again? Recycled gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that! Oh, uh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... No, I can't believe the catchy sons really. What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and a catchy is. I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but this truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so. I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice. I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah. We won't put up with this injustice. But... What can we do to actually help him get out of there? I, I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So, what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case. There's no time for us to waste. 
We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right! Let's go! We're gonna save our leader no matter what it takes! Yeah! Yeah! Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. I already told you. There was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. Hmm. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not gonna let that happen, you hear me? I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please. I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see. So that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? Yeah, that's the kid. Also, you guys know someone in public security, right? Won't you introduce me to him? I have to protect him. Using whatever means necessary. I'm begging you. P please, I, I beg of you. Please help me collect enough signatures. I, I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... he's my best friend! So basically, the reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us. And now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Won't you please protest the police with me? Please! Please tell me if you know of this young man. I need testimonies from people to use in this special article in regards to him. Did he truly look like a boy who would cause an assault here? There's a discrepancy in the other residents' testimonies in the court decision at the time. Please, you have to remember. A certain young man is faced with a dilemma due to the unjust oppression by the government. He is suffering from a crime he did not commit. He is a promising young man who will support this country's future. What justice is there in a country without it being able to save such an individual? This cannot be allowed! Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. Isn't his score amazing? I really want to go up against him, but I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. But I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices, like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. 
you have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. Please, please help him out. Yes, it's thanks to that young man. I would still be trapped in that awful match-fixing if not for his support. And now, this honest gentleman is locked up in Juvenile Hall, despite being innocent. This time, I wish to be the one to come to his rescue. Please, he doesn't belong in Juvenile Detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the missed practice. Please, let me take just a short break. Uh, coach? No deal. But... I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled, got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you too. Thank you so much, Coach! You escape the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong, and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly... A remarkable guest. Long time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind, it, it's nothing. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. 
The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Oh. Hey, you kept me waiting. Jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? And it'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. It's not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? It's almost been a whole year since then. <laughs> Thinking back, I was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. And again, soon you're gonna be... Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, all right? Whoa! You did it! It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. And the best for last, me. So we meet again. It's good to see you. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Now we're only missing one last person. She texted me a little while ago that she's finished with practice and heading here. I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Senpai. Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. 
Come on, Sumire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone, but then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Ever since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. <laughs> right back at ya. They treated you fine, right? Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I have heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? You're missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh, it was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon. Just to hang in there. Oh, yeah! Uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from Boss. You're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Leave it to me. Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? Then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Normal cat! I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No! I would much rather have sushi than something like... Mm -hmm. This is delicious! <laughs> what an assertive little guy. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only, Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up! I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? It's things like that. You get angry so fast. Oh, and you're vulgar. You little... Why don't you go disappear again? <sighs> Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting! They're at it again. 
You guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off! Very well. Sojiro, I want sushi! But seriously. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Good evening. I didn't know you were still working. Sorry for stopping by so late. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. That's considerate of him. I hope I'm not imposing. I know I already saw you before, but I really wanted to have some time with you today. So I thought I'd stop by on the way home from practice. so much I was going to say once I finally got to talk to you, but now that you're here, and I can see your face for myself, none of it seems so important anymore. It's alright. I understand why you did what you did. On another note, I brought you something. It's chocolate, since it's Valentine's Day today. Normally, I'd find that a little melodramatic, but I'm glad to hear it, really. Just checking, but we're back in the real world, right? Oh, I wanted to say, Senpai, I... Ever since that day, I've finally been living for myself, as myself, and from now on, I always will. So, um, may I sit next to you? You're going back to your hometown soon, yes? <laughs> it's sweet of you to ask. But I'm going to keep working hard. Wherever you are, I'll make sure you hear about me. She always said she performed best. When thinking about someone she loved, I think I finally understand Kasumi, what she was trying to say. When I think about you, I get the feeling the competition's going to go just fine. I think... 
think you know what I mean. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. I heard they finally turned you loose. I'm glad you're doing okay. I expected at least a phone call, though. Anyhow, you're free, and that's worth celebrating. I was hoping I'd get a chance to hand this over, so this is good timing. You know how it was Valentine's Day yesterday? Just a token of my appreciation, so don't go feeling guilty about not getting me anything. How about you consider it a sign of trust from one comrade to another? See ya! Morning! We usually don't run into each other here, huh? Oh, yeah. This is for you. going to give it to you at school, but as long as we're both here, have some chocolate. You know, for Valentine's Day. As friends. Close friends. I'll be counting on you. Oh. Great timing. I was just headed to your classroom. Here, take this. Chocolate. Think of it as a token of appreciation for all you do for us. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be a big deal. See you again soon, okay? Hello. I'm glad I caught you. I wanted to give you this. be best to wait until today. After all, if you got one from someone special, I wouldn't want to intrude. You always do so much for me. This is the least I could give in return. Of course. We should get coffee again sometime too. Just let me know when you're free. Oh, I'm glad I got to see you. I'm relieved you're safe. On that note, I have a small gift for the occasion, if you'll accept it. Apparently these days, people give chocolate to friends, even when it's purely platonic. Seems like a fine opportunity to celebrate the return and express my gratitude. I hope Shogi brings us even closer together. Hello there. I knew you'd be here. Oh, I don't mean I've been watching you. I just read your fortune. Now that that's cleared up, please take this. It's to celebrate your freedom. And to say thanks for everything you do. If you ever need my power again, 
All you have to do is ask. I'll always be happy to help you. Welcome back. I wasn't sure I'd even see you, but I guess this is good timing. Here, take this. Figured you deserved a little appreciation. <laughs> Who knows? Don't get your hopes up. Sounds like you've been through a lot. It's kind of a relief to see you're the same as ever. Remember, I'm pretty close by if you ever come down with something. Call whenever you need to. See you later then. I know it's sudden, but could you watch the store? I gotta head out for a bit. Think you can keep an eye on things? Oh, were you working? Sorry to distract you. I thought I'd stop by on the way home from work. Partly so I could give you this. You've done so much for me, after all. I wanted to say thanks. Oh, and I didn't get to say it at work, but... Welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, right. I whipped up a little study guide for the classwork you missed. It should cover most of the important stuff. If you're still having trouble with any of it, you can always ask me, okay? I'm your teacher. That's my job. Anyway, I'll see you at school. Oh, perfect timing! You got a sec? Cool, I just wanted to give you something. Don't worry, not gonna make it weird. Just, if so, Jiro saw he'd get ideas and start freaking out. So, here you go. A chocolatey gift for my friend and squad mate. If you want to pay me back, I'll take a year's supply of instant noodles. What? You thought I was serious? Relax! It's just a gift from me to you. Cause you're my key item, right? And you always will be. Sure you want me hanging around? I, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just... A hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future. And how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility. Get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. On? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own, starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. 
Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride, though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that... a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. Well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Aw, oh, yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Ready for tomorrow? <laughs> White day. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Hmm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. 
Whoa, the chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere. But it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. It's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Uh, wait! What?! Damn it. I don't usually do this, but I know a place. <laughs> Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, that's when you give it to her. Good. You were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember... Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry, all you have You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang, the chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plan. Now you just gotta get the flowers. It's gonna be busy tomorrow. Today's the day. Let's go think. That should do it. I tried to keep it okay. Hold on. Let me cover this one. I need to express appreciation. Good luck! Okay, now you're all ready for don't worry. I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. All right. Yes, Yoshizawa speaking. Right now? Of course, that's fine. I don't have practice today, so I'll head over right away. See you there! Ah, oh, there are so many different kinds of fish. I'd never have realized just seeing them from a distance. They're all so beautiful. Come to think of it, I remember we had a family trip to an aquarium when I was younger. Kasumi was so excited to see the fish, but apparently I was so scared I cried the whole time. Oh, I'm 
having fun now. Hmm. Um, Senpai? If I'm wrong, you can just tell me. But is this a date for White Day? I knew it! I'm so glad I got to spend it with you, Senpai. Since we're on a nice date like this, though, we might as well have fun. Oh, wait! I think this is the end of the exhibit. Thank you for taking me out today. I'll be even more motivated for tomorrow's practice. What? Well, I suppose I'll take you up on that. This restaurant is beautiful. I'm impressed, Senpai. Of course! Oh, right. Inside voices. Sorry about that. Love is so strange. I feel so happy when I'm with my boyfriend, but even tiny failures get me so depressed. As long as I've got you, though, I feel like I can get through anything. Oh, senpai, I'm glad we're on the same level. Um, so to speak. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? Looks like something's happening. Oh, it's gorgeous! What? Thank you so much! I never saw this coming, but I'm so, so happy. I've never been surprised like this. I keep falling in love with you all over again. I guess you put a lot of effort into this date, but I shouldn't have expected anything less, Senpai. You take care of everybody, and you always put their happiness before anything else. But I don't want this to be one-sided. One day, I want to take care of you like you do for me. Though, I guess that might not be for a while. Thank you. It'll definitely happen eventually, so please be patient. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about it. Um, we still have some time left tonight, so... Can I stay with you just a little longer? Hey, you're finally ticking off tomorrow. So Jiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. Off you go then. Try not to cry! <laughs> Kana-chan passed her high school entrance exam. She sent me a message this morning. I told her I was getting into high school too, and she says we can make our student debuts together. So, you know that promise in the book? The one about going to school? This means, like, I did it, right? Ooh, sounds good to me. Then I've got something else to look forward to. It better be good. Don't... Honestly, though... The idea of not having Sojiro or everyone else around is the scariest part. But I know I can't stay in my room forever. And that's way more important. I feel like I've been getting more curious every day. I want to see and learn so much stuff. So I want you to have this. It's proof I'm moving on. Because I only changed this much thanks to the notebook. And you, of course. If you ever feel lonely, just look at this notebook and remember that I've got your back. Okay? 
saying goodbye to me. I'll cut it out. You're gonna see me tomorrow. Just remember to pack once you get back, you hear? I don't want you forgetting anything important here. Oh, yeah. The Diary of the Phantom Thieves' Leader, huh? Probably... Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Well, we've all been through a lot, but it seems like everything's changed for the better. Try to behave yourself back home, would you? <laughs> Not like you ever listened to me, anyway. Here, I want you to have these. I've got them memorized already. With that stuff, you can make the same... Well, no, that it put your own spin on the flavor. Develop it. Make it yours. Come on, you should get going. You still got things to do, right? Hey, hey! like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? I appreciate the offer, but I imagine you've got other things to attend to. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now. So, just in case, take this. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. home tomorrow, right? Then let me give you an update. So, about Miwa-chan. Her symptoms started fading pretty soon after administering the new medicine. Yeah, I can't wait. It's all thanks to you. Thank you for supporting me through it all. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here. I want you to have this. You saved Miwa-chan. It's only fair that you get to meet her someday. Let's see. Once Miwa-chan's all better, maybe the both of us could take a trip to visit you. <laughs> Keep your health in check. I want you there to welcome us with a smile, okay? I should write something. Heading home tomorrow, I hear. It'll be a new start. You've got my blessing. 
Whatever. I recall the days when you helped me out with my speeches here. Yes, I feel the same. But for now, we have more important things to do than reminisce. Both of us are taking our first steps on a new path. It's time we looked forward, not back. You expect farewells to be so sad, but here we are beaming. From now on, your life is your own to live. Now, I suppose I'd better send you off with a parting gift. It's an incredibly expensive fountain pen I bought back when I'd strayed from the right path. Embarrassingly enough, I hardly used it. I hope you'll put it to better use than I did. Whatever new chapters you write with that pen, I'll be watching for them. meeting here. And that reminds me, the new coffee shop venture is progressing toward opening its first location. Actually, I'll be involved with its launch even while attending college. We do have plans to expand into other regions. Perhaps one may pop up in your town. From now on, I'll have to balance my studies and the company. No easy task, I'm sure. But it's all for the sake of making my dream come true. I swear I'll make this work. By the way, I tried making something for you. I'd like to sell handcrafted goods at my cafe as well. So this is the first step in my practice. I want to live up to my grandfather's reputation after all. And my father's legacy. It has to be a comforting, welcoming place for everyone. Some place to spend your peaceful hours. Once it opens, we should all meet up there, just like our days at LeBlanc. Hmm? So, you have come to say farewell. I have some words of reflection for you in this time of parting. This twisted, broken world sought to crush you, yet you salvaged it, and with your ideals stitched it whole. You were a true trickster of this modern age, a beloved champion of a burdened public, and a man of such great heights. Well, where will his path take him next, I wonder? Now, I don't know about that. To accompany a trickster on so twisting and winding a path, I fear I'd soon be outpaced. I have more than mere words to give you today, though. Allow me to grant you a parting gift. Not as the one who leads you, but simply as Lavenza. This is my blessing to you, to carry on your journey. You were confined to yourself for so long. Now at last it seems only right that you bear its key. In the past, guests of the Velvet Room have received their keys upon their very first visits. However, I was unable to pass it on to you at that point. This is the least I can do for you now. With this key in hand, you will be able to break free of whatever trials may imprison you in the future. Though of course, you have already chosen the path of true freedom. By inspiring others to take up arms and fight for their own beliefs, you may change the world itself. You walk the path of a true trickster, May it lead you to fortune beyond imagining. Yeah, I hear you're heading home tomorrow. Perfect. I got a story for you. Karu got accepted to high school. He'll be a Shujin Academy student in the spring. Thanks, man. Karu will be stoked when I tell him. He says... He wants to become like you. Well, being a bro means someone will be following in your footsteps. But I can't leave everything to you. I'm the parent here, so I gotta do my job. Oh yeah, here. It's an EY family gecko. Take good care of it, okay? Having you around the place helped me realize times sure have changed. But I'm not going obsolete just yet. 
I still got more to learn, just like you. Looks like you got plenty of guys following your lead now. I'm real glad we met. Take care. It's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. Dude, don't say it like that. You make it sound like I'm gonna die or something. Look, this isn't gonna be the last time we see each other. I'll come visit whenever you want. Honestly, even with the rehab? I don't know if my leg's ever going to be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm going to get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? I don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame. I, I'd rather just run and keep on running. And hey, you better practice too. See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. And... I think about going to school without you guys. I don't know. I can't imagine it. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you, man. Oh. That's right. You'll be departing tomorrow. It's sad to see this as a season of farewells, but... I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways. And that's putting it mildly. This time last year, I'd never have imagined I'd meet you all, leave my home, or become a phantom thief. Do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition? Desire and hope it was. Well, I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express, I... but my heart has not led me astray yet. I'll paint as it guides me. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos. Certainly, that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them. And I hope you tell me their story someday. Did you come here for souvenirs? This place has everything. I'm busy getting ready for my study abroad, too. Gotta research schools, places to live, but we're all splitting off to do our own thing, huh? Yeah, totally. It's not like we're all leaving forever. I mean, we still have the group chat. I'll still be messaging you all, and you gotta respond. By the way, um, a little girl stopped me the other day in Shibuya. She said she saw me in magazines, and that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. Oh, right. Vague did a special piece on me in this month's issue. I said it all in the interview, but I'm gonna work hard. One day, I'll be modeling across the world. I've gotta reach people. I wanna give someone hope, like you did for me. Thank you for all you've done. The days I spent with you were some of the brightest in my life. Once I'm a star, I'm gonna shine even brighter, though. So you watch out for me! Oh, it's exactly as the card said. You came to visit me. In your current state... You should be fine. <laughs> well, if you're the one saying that, then it must be true. 
I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately, even though I should be the one encouraging them. Strange, isn't it? But perhaps that's the truest form of fortune telling there is. Mutually encouraging each other to find happiness in a world full of tangled, painful fates. The kind of comfort I've always hoped to provide in my readings. Here, this card represents your future. Please, take it as a good luck charm. An upright fortune card represents happiness to come, but it's an omen of doom when reversed. But I know you'll carry on with the same conviction you've always had. You were never one to fear the future. That's how you manage to bring joy to any fate. So, I'm sure we'll meet again. Though, that's not based on any augury. Just a personal wish. Oh, honey. Do you have ESP? I'm surprised you knew where I was. Are you here to say goodbye? That's my line. So, I'm close to being able to report on Kaio's case. Ever since all that stuff happened with Shido, the stories haven't stopped rolling in. But it looks like I can finally avenge her. And it's all thanks to your hard work. Here, it's a record of the struggles we shared. By the way, I heard the Phantom Thieves are disbanding? It's gonna be so boring around here. Not every day you get to chase after a bunch of young revolutionaries like them. Hold on, though. I bet you've got more tricks up your sleeve. You're going home, not turning over a new leaf. I'll be keeping an ear out for your next adventure, okay? I promise, I'll tell your story to the world. Oh. Come back anytime! I was just getting some of my college enrollment papers read. Soon enough, I'll be living on my own, too. <laughs> New beginnings for both of us, I suppose. Of course. Maybe not right away, but once things slow down, I'll definitely make the time. My sister and I are actually going to look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. But nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. If I'd never met you, and stayed a simple honor student, I'd never have realized I had that choice. So, I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. We fought back together, so... It seems only fair you keep it. I want you to know that you're an irreplaceable comrade to me. I'll... I can feel it. Oh, what a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your studies there, okay? Of course. And let me know if there's anything you need. This is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. Now that you're heading out into the world, I've got a present for you. It sounds like the setup to a joke. A student bumps into his teacher in a full French maid outfit. But somehow, that opened up all kinds of new paths in my life. You taught me so much. You're not just my best student. You were a great master. I can make up for all the times I distanced myself from my students. I'll help anyone who needs it. The point is, I'll put in the work. I learned a lot from you, and I won't let that go to waste. Oh, you came to visit? 
is it? To tell you the truth, I have an important shogi tournament tomorrow as well. Thank you very much. If I do well, that will make it ten straight wins. I'll work hard so I can give you a good report. That's quite a smile. Like a knight standing victorious at the end of a grand siege. But I suppose a knight can't remain idle for too long. His presence is still needed elsewhere, I take it. If my shogi skills have truly helped such a dauntless champion, then it has been an honor and a pleasure. From one player to another, I have a parting gift for you. The lance piece moves exclusively forward. Until it is promoted, it can only move onward, never back. So let us continue on our own paths, even if we have to part ways for now. One day, when the two of us lances have been promoted, we will retrace our steps and meet again. So, you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. Huh? Uh, well, I haven't really gotten to that. I've been too busy actually writing it. But when I need one, I'll definitely be consulting the ex-Phantom Thieves themselves. Makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary, too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft. It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So, we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. Hey, uh, you're moving tomorrow, right? Don't forget to practice at home! Yeah, whatever happens from now on, I'm gonna keep winning too. If I lose, then I'll deal with it, just like you taught me. Oh right, I returned the money, and he forgave me. We're friends now, and he's even playing gun about with me. He's still a total newbie, so I'm teaching him all the pro strats. Oh, but don't stress. It's not all boot camp this time. I'm going easier on him. Thanks for everything. You've helped me so much. I'm gonna give you my secret weapon. See? That's my strategy. I use this to practice, but these days I'm kinda too busy helping mom or playing with my friends. At first, I thought you were kinda weird, but... Now, uh, you seem pretty cool, so... I'm still your teacher when it comes to games, but you're my teacher in real life. Let's do it.
Hmm? Are you really? Hey, uh... Even when I was human, I kept holding on to this for between a cat, a human, or some kind of vehicle. It's been hard to say for sure who or what I am, but whatever else I am, I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. Well then, we should probably go home and get packed, huh? You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? I see. You must have made a lot of good memories here. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me! I can go wherever I want all by myself! Huh, it really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said, Sojiro's stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. on oh man even if you're not here I'll make sure I do my best so you go do your best too <sighs> thank you for everything Everything? When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. Don't be so cheeky. Oh, sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning now. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. Yeah. <laughs> after we said hmm? we'd disband. We are all in break after all. No more entrance exams. Mm. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Uh. Shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Dr. Maruki? You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? <laughs> Should we? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Come and get us! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then?
there's no charge. Oh? Uh -huh. If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa. Damn, man! Those dudes just wouldn't give up! I wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure <laughs> to eat well. We'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? All right, it's mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Aw, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. See you later, my dude! <laughs> Sit down. <sighs> you taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? Coming with you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care. Huh? Mm.
I'm not your enemy. 